The way my boyfriend left me shattered my faith in relationships. It was the seven-month best relationship that I ever had in my 35 years in this world. It started as a hinge date. He showed me places I've never been. He thought me things that I never knew and he held my hand when I am scared. He kept reminding me that I was his best friend and that he won't leave me. When we were together he would take me out on dates 4x a week. He spoiled me. He bought me numerous gifts. Thoughtful gifts that he thought I needed in my life. He took me on weekend trips hours away from our city. Drove hours to make me happy when I am feeling down. He would make himself silly to see me smile. He would caress me. He would tell me how beautiful I was then kisses me on forehead. He bought me plane tickets to go in another state to introduce me to his childhood friends. He showed me around in his hometown and kept on asking would you like to live here one day. He was in my city for a project that he was working on. He was consistent up to the end. He never gave me any reason to doubt him. Any reason that he would leave me. It was my birthday four days ago. He surprised me with an expensive present that I needed and took me for a nice dinner while singing. Happy birthday to me. We spent five days together in a week. But dating nowadays is hard. How would you know someone's true intention? People told me if someone is consistent. Introduced you to his friends. Continue to invest in you put all the efforts he is serious about you. It was all wrong. Three days ago, I went back to my unit. He called in the afternoon and told me he will come over and he will take me out for dinner. I was so happy. I thought he missed me already even though we were togged there five days in a row this week. I made sure I looked pretty. He came in and said let's go. I am starving. We ate. He was serving me with my food and it was so sweet I thought. When we came back to my unit, I asked him if he wants to stay the night. He said let's go in. Put a movie on. Cuddled in the couch and he was hugging me tight as if he didn't want to let me go. The movie finished and I asked him again. Are you staying the night? He fixed himself up and he told me, I quit my job and I am going back to my hometown in four days to work there again. Which was Tom. And I said okay. What are we going to do now? I thought he would say I would love for you to relocate with me. He knew with my line of work I can work anywhere and that I don't have family here as I am an immigrant. But he said, we should break up as I don't know my next plan, without explanation. While I was trying to process things. He got up grabbed his things and left me behind. I was shocked. I tried to message him to look for answers but I am already blocked everywhere. In that time. He was this cruel selfish bastard that played me and i am this gullible fool who he needed in this city and i don't know who i hate the most today three days later the shock is wearing off i barely eaten and drunk i don't know what i did and i feel like i am worthless this is beyond pain over pain i am tired and i am so done he broke up with me in my couch in front of my tv which i haven't sat on since he left TLDR. I was wined and dined and broken up all of a sudden. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. Just know this. What other people do is about them. Not you. This says nothing about your worth as a person or a partner. You will be happy again. I promise. You can do everything right and still people will disappoint you. Nothing wrong with you. It's just life. You got this. Keep your head up because you did nothing wrong. Be proud you were such a good girlfriend and are a great person. I'm going to guess that he is actually married and you were his side piece while he worked a project away from home. Maybe do some digging. Make new social media accounts and look him and his friends up. You're right to be confused and hurt. Let yourself go through it. Just make sure you come out the other side. I promise you there's a good life for you without him in it. You just can't see it yet. As an honest opinion.
if he didn't even include you in his decision-making process. He wasn't much of a partner to you and probably wouldn't have been a good long-term partner anyway. He was only there for the good times. Not the hard times. Being partners means you share. Discuss and weigh options. If he wasn't willing to do that for you. It sounds like he had made his mind up some time ago. I'd try to be glad he showed his true colors within a year. That's a blessing in disguise. A final thing. For when you're not hurting as much as now, you can still cherish that you got to have something fun and nice. Even if for only a while. Learn something about how you want to live life from this. You said he showed you places you haven't been. Maybe think about places you'd like to visit? Even if it's just a restaurant in town. Reclaim your life that way. He might not be in it but maybe he showed you something you need to do for yourself. You got this heart. Wow this is horrible. I cringed while reading the last part of your post. I can almost feel your shock and pain. Unfortunately it sounds like he may have known that he would be in your city for a certain amount of time, and wanted this to be a romance for the duration, but without any thoughts of a forever after. He probably did care about you, from your description, but knew that the relationship had an expiry date. You didn't. You were blindsided. Do not think of yourself as a gullible fool. How would you have possibly known? All the signs that he was there for the long run were present. Nobody could have guessed. Why do some people do this? I wish I knew. A long time ago, I was in a relationship for two years. He met my parents. I met his. Everyone thought we would end up married. One nice summer afternoon, we were in a park we used to spend time in. And he sort of proposed. I was overjoyed. He took me home. We planned to see each other the following day. I told my parents what he had said. Only the next day he didn't show up for the date. I waited. Half an hour later I called him. He picked up. And said he wasn't coming. I was shocked. Ask why. He said because I don't love you anymore. He hung up and no longer picked up. I know the shock you feel. Having the rug pulled from under your feet unexpectedly. I was like you. Didn't eat. Didn't want to get out of bed. A month later I looked like a skeleton. Then as time went by. I got better. I started going out with friends again. Eventually met other people. The point being. Only time helped me. And it will also help you too. When you feel a bit better. Try hanging out with friends and family. Surround yourself with people who love you. You will get past this. I promise. Even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Don't let this idiot ruin relationships for you. Because one person is never indicative of how relationships in general are. After a storm comes the sun. It will get better. I don't blame you for feeling hurt. But I also don't think your ex is a cruel, selfish bastard. He is clearly going through something and needs to figure out where he is going in his life. It sucks to be broken up with no matter what. I just don't think it's fair for you to malign him like that. It seems like he really cared about you and treated you well prior to this personal crisis that he's going through. 4OSF here and it doesn't sound that cruel. Honestly. It sounds like he really cared for you. You yourself say he was cuddling you like he didn't want to let go. He probably left in a hurry because it was hurting him too. Blocking you removes the temptation to stay in contact and hurt both of you worse. I see his actions as doing what he knew he had to do. Not what he wanted to do. His plans changed. The relationship was too new to talk about you moving with him. And he doesn't want to do long distance. The fact that you were willing to up and move with this guy seven months and says something about you. Honestly he could have ghosted. He could have had sex with you and then been like, well thanks it's been fun. Could he have done this differently? Sure. But it reads to me like he really liked you and wanted to have one last good night together. Leaving hurts the person who's leaving. Two. 
Not the same situation but I have a close friend who just broke up with his GF because she became way too jealous, clingy, and codependent on him for everything. Even though he did it, he's in a ton of pain a month out. Two years relationship. He knew it was best for him. But obviously it wasn't all bad all the time. Leaving doesn't automatically make you stop loving someone. You were love bombed and you're now in an emotional hole. Your feelings are valid for sure. But take care. You will survive this. In fact, you will discover that this wasn't real love. It was chemical euphoria. The love drug and you are in withdrawal. Real love is patient and kind. It takes time to build trust and respect. Be suspicious of people who are trying to impress you in the short term with tons of attention. Demonstrations of affection and or gifts. Learn from this. Grow. Get stronger. Regroup. Be patient with yourself too. It's okay. Op. Oh, I hope you're alright. This will pass. You're 35. And it was a 7-month relationship. It was just the honeymoon phase. He's not a cruel person for changing his mind about being with you. Blocking you makes it easier to move on. I think your feelings are valid but ultimately a bit extreme. There could be an unlimited number of reasons. Maybe he put more effort into the relationship than you did because it sounds like he was super consistent, caring and loving. Who knows? I put more effort into the relationship than my ex did. Yet she broke up with me. It's just PPL. Let me tell you a story of hurt and recovery for me. When I was dating a woman in college, I fell in love quickly. We had a whirlwind romance and I felt on top of the world. But then I left college and we went LDR we met up over the summer to talk about things. She assured me it would work. When I offered we could have a friendly breakup, I believed her, as I respected her and thought she respected me. Literally not even 48 hours after our conversation, she tells me she is going to a friend's house, who I knew was an ex. I had a horrible pit in my stomach. I was naive and thought I could trust her. I was working that night and her messages became fewer and fewer until she stopped responding at all. The very next morning she confirmed my fear. She had told me she was leaving. But she didn't. She spent the night. We had a long, long fight. She turned almost everyone against me by claiming I had been abusive and controlling. I had never once touched her. And I had obviously not been controlling her. Otherwise that would not have happened. But still, she manipulated me back into almost accepting her again. I said, I guess you were so swept up. You weren't even thinking about how much you were hurting me. Her reply? I knew I was hurting you. I just didn't think it would hurt you this much. My heart shattered. I shattered. I spent several days with some friends. Since they were afraid I was going to hurt myself. And they probably were not wrong. I felt I could never trust a woman again after that. It took me years to recover. Because I was too stubborn for therapy. But I worked through it. And in the end, I came out a stronger, healthier person for it. You will recover up. You will become stronger for this. Take the time you need to grieve. You were hurt. And it will take time to recover from that. That is normal. Do not be afraid of therapy as I was. A therapist will do you a world of good as things are. And if you wish to talk to a stranger, feel free to reach out. I can't imagine how hard it must be to deal with this without your family nearby. So PM me if you want to talk about anything. Okay? You are not alone. And things will get better. I promise. I I'm sure that this abrupt and unexpected breakup has hurt you badly. You have every right to cry over this or be mad at him or whatever you need to feel. You didn't do anything wrong except trust the wrong guy. That can happen to any of us. From what you write about his behavior, it sounds like he was love bombing you from the beginning in order to engage your feelings very quickly. 
It may be that he gets his kicks from making a woman fall for him. Get her to love him and then he flakes off to start all over again. In other words, he likes the thrill of the chase. The behavior you describe. The many dates. Flowers. Gifts. Lavish affection. Travel. Etc. Are all too much for such a short relationship. He's probably gone home to his wife. I'm so sorry Op that this has happened to you. You are not worthless. You deserve so much better. I know it's awful now but you will get over this. Brace yourself. Be ready. And make your plans because he will eventually show back up. Probably crying about how he made a mistake and you were the best thing that ever happened to him. Begging for another chance. Etc. Just don't forget exactly what he did to you. How cruel he was. And how you feel right now. Don't let him back in when he comes calling. Strength and love to you. He was never who he pretended to be. And I am sorry that people are like this. It's wrong and you deserve better. So he treated you to expensive dinners and gave you an expensive gift for your birthday but suddenly he's a cruel selfish bastard because he broke up with you? People like him is why I can't trust anyone anymore and I'm always reading between the lines at anything anyone does. I think an important moral of this would be that money is not everything. No matter how much you spend and how exquisite you get, items won't tighten the relationship. Do you recall how he make himself part of your life with such ease? That he seemed to anticipate your every desire and put thought into every gift he gave you? Also, you mentioned his consistency in his attentions and that he seemed to check all of the boxes? Quote, it's because he's obviously done this many times in his life. And you're just the latest victim. You stated that you are an immigrant alone in the US. In other words, you don't have close family members here with you. And probably aren't part of an immigrant community. These sociopathic men don't have the ability for empathy. But they do know how to portray it perfectly. You were victimized. The town he took you to was probably not his hometown but one he has operated in previously, and introduced you to acquaintances he represented to you as old friends. At the present, he's probably sizing up another woman as his next project in a different town, and he may have a job that allows him to work from anywhere. Hence no need for a permanent locale. I'm sorry this happened to you, but in the future, if some guy seems too good to be true, he probably is. Keep your guard up. I wish you well. Don't want to be mean or anything. But you talked about all the things he did for you. Did you do things for him? Things that would make him happy. Surprise him. Made him sure that you care about him? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Era Cast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.